Photoshop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. Now, in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add some stroke effects to type. Now, it's one thing that's really weird in Photoshop. If you actually go over here and you just have the word type, and if you want to add a stroke effect, now there is there's some options, so you can just go there, click there, and what you can do, you can just go to a layer and layer style and stroke and what you can do then just increase the size a bit change the color so you can actually see the difference and there you've got uh, some nice quick stroke applied around the type now there's a range of other options of course you've got gradient and pattern which is quite nice as well so you can you can do a little bit more than that but now if you want to actually use stroke options that are available say to custom shapes there's a quick way around that i'm just going to go after that and again i can obviously move the type click ok and go to type and convert to shape now of course once you've done that you've actually lost the live aspect of it so you can't obviously edit it anymore but so uh, what you can do you can just go to edit and define custom shape if that was available now to make it available just go over here to the custom shape tool and then do the edit and and then you've got the define custom shape i know it's slightly odd but anyway click ok right once that's done just going to remove that go to the custom shape tool and now you can see the type i've just added and you can just drag that across there now you can see already you've got the stroke as well as the fill if it's using obviously the shape there if it's pixels not so convenient but uh, shape option there also what you can do now with this you can actually got stroke options so you can actually just go there and you can select different stroke options so you can get these lovely little dots and whatever you can also modify that a bit more you've got more and you can set your own sort of dashes up as well so you can change that in a number of ways click OK also of course now with this you can actually now go to a layer and layer style and again stroke so you can actually add additional stroke as well so now just going to modify that i want it outside obviously it's going to clash with the other one so put that outside and you can create some more interesting sort of type and again of course you've still got the option for gradient as well as patterns to create some quite interesting type effects. Click OK. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you.